I am fusiform and faces amaze me. Mostly at parties, they fall into particles and walk off with my drink. In diverse directions, in laser-like ways. That's why I'm fusiform and faces are amazed to me. Mostly in pictures, they undo their ligatures. Like words without borders, sculptures, light bent by lens. Then rough miso and miff sour save me. Because I can never remember names. Together we move through those orders. Buddies, bodies, at times rejected pottery. I should add, when we see two brothers, we talk about their nodes. I am fusiform and I find eyelashes surprising. I mean, eyes with hair, bangs. Blinking equals nodding or head banging, tiny forms of affirmation, a music video. I think it was Ruff Miso dressed as a coffee table who said, All the world is blinking. Carpets with their fuzzy rim, the way mirrors dim when made with ancient formulas. You know, things get fringy, fuzz nodding, eyeball banging. I stare at him, I mean, not my most responsive face. When I fall asleep, I hold on to my lashes, thinking they are his ruffles. Miff Sour adds, that's where the words frazzled out come from. That's frazzle come words, the wear form out. I am fusiform, and one day Miff Sour took me to a secret location with sculptures of light, where a group was playing a particular game. Mouth closed around neighbor's nose. The point was for neighbor to tell you he felt momentarily blinded, though wide-eyed before and after. Gaping confuses, look through the hole, teeth greet hair, strands sand fillings. The game was called Fuzzy Uses of Facial Forms and participants all over the world debated which one was to be called the blind object, inside or outside. Miff and I, we tried our best. I said, I don't recognize you. She said, I can smell you, but not through my nose. That night we thought about the brothers in a much more fluent, fragrant way. I am fusiform and when I speak, each sentence is a blanket with frog-like objects. Ruff Miso and Miff Sour fly in frog recognition experts from mostly the Baltics. They are said to be more accurate than the car and bird expats. Frogs firm you, they say. Chronometric studies show that the speed of frog recognition is uninfluenced by the number of legs involved. I'm not sure what that means. I turn to Ruff Miso, who is inappropriately dressed as a blue corner, and say, All the languages in the world evolve from frog sounds. He makes a shape with his mouth that could stand for a loop or a furniture piece based on a certain green groovy plant. I am fusiform and I like pseudo words, circulation, robots, shouting names. Ruff Miso likes gyros, faceless meat scrambled. I saw many scrambled things in the study room. Birds, cars, words, monsters, pants and holograms. Ruff says, anagrams are gyros too, countless dimensions and designs of the same figure. His English is disco, or dinglick, as the Germans would say. You can almost touch it. In fact, I love touching it. Essential plasticity or place, or each word has a face. Whereas for me, they're totally spacing out. Like homophones or a double solo show. Miff Sauer has a different angle. She says, never underestimate the overview of a profile in yogurt. Please take the shape of the mouse pointer on the yogurt and press your face in. I tell her I don't know where to take the mouse pointer from. She says, think a form of us. Think a face that disappears into its moving parts. Think translation, activation, pathways, two noses and visual pottery. Pottery. <laughs>